you're diving into the property market, make sure you're not out of your depth. Now, you may want to start small and then gradually work your way up, Martel. Yes, let's see if the guys on today's show have followed our lead. Welcome to West Yorkshire and the city of Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. As we're here, I thought I'd take the opportunity to remind you about one of rock and roll's greatest live albums. It was The Who, live at Leeds. It was recorded Valentine's Day 1970. I was one, by the way, in Leeds University. Kids, if you don't know who The Who are, ask your parents. What year was it? You better scratch that. Ask your grandparents. This leafy suburb is about five miles north of Leeds city centre. The property I'm here to see is behind this well manicured hedge. It is a ground floor flat, two bedrooms with a guide price of 75 to 80,000 pounds. Can't quite see it from this side. I'm hoping it's going to be easier to see from this side. And there we are. Let's have a look inside. Too high, too high, but into the sky. Well, that hedge might look quite intimidating, but it does provide a bit of privacy from the main road and conceals some useful parking. Always handy. Time to check out inside. Right, a little bit of a cloak, sort of cloak roomy hall there, and then you're straight in to this sort of, sort of dining lounge area. It is. A little bit small, but what do you expect? It's a ground floor, two bed, flat ceilings aren't incredibly high, textured ceiling as well. You have got central heating, you've got two decent size windows as well. And that's it then. We are sorted. No, you couldn't. You couldn't hear me. Okay, all right. I'll sum up. Kitchen's all right and ready to rent. Okay, have a proper look at the kitchen then. Goes to show, this program would fall apart without me. Silence is golden, golden, what my eyes still see. Well, that's just mean. So at the back of the property, we've got two bedrooms and the bathroom. And you know what? It's not a bad size at all, actually. It's a shower room and there's ample space uh, considering how small this flat is. Smaller of the two bedrooms is there. It's a single bedroom. And if you get a single in there, that's about all you're going to get in as well. That goes in as one of the smallest bedrooms I've seen on Homes Under the Hammer. And then you've got the bigger one of the two. You get a double bed in here. Just what have you got in here? We've got a little bit of storage, a bit of hanging space as well. A spot of decoration and this place would be ready to rent or move into, as long as you've checked the paperwork though. One thing I will tell you is this place has a short lease of 63 years. Now, what you've got to think about is what you're going to do with this flat. If you're looking to flip it and sell it, the buyer who wants to buy this place might have a bit of a problem getting a mortgage on a building that has such a short lease. If you're looking to rent it, however, you just have to factor into your budget how much it's gonna cost you to extend that lease. Just things to think about when you're buying property. I need a little time out. I need a little time out from me. At some point, the owner will need to get more time added to that short lease. So to give us a bit more of an insight on how much that would cost and just a general opinion on the property, we've asked along a local estate agent. Uh, the first thing that struck me about the property was actually that it's in much better condition than I thought it was going to be in uh, before I arrived and uh, actually there's a lot less work than I thought that was going to be required. Um, I will say that it's, uh, as flat to go, it is quite small, but it's, uh, I think it'll be a terrific rental property. The estate agent agreed with me that it would be worth extending that short 63-year lease. But well, the big question is, how much would it cost? 
Now I have looked into it and I think that it would cost around about £10,000 to extend that lease and that would add significant value to the property, not to mention uh, it would uh, increase the saleability. So with a guide of £75,000 to £80,000 once renovated, what could this two bed flat be worth? First on the rental market. If this property was to go onto the rental market, I would suggest a figure of £550 per calendar month. And if you were to sell it? Assuming that the lease extension is carried out and assuming the work is done, I would suggest an initial asking price of between £110,000 and £115,000. Without the lease extension, I would suggest an initial asking price of between £100,000 and £105,000. So this is the part of the show where I normally say to you, oh dear, this place, subsidence is terrible. Oh, the kitchen, oh, the bathroom's an absolute state. Got to spend a fortune on it. Not this little gem. This little flat is almost ready to go. Just needs a few little tweaks. I think everything is rosy. No, it's not. There's a thorn amongst those roses. That short lease, take that into consideration. Let's find out who'd done their homework when it went under the hammer. OK, we've got a telephone bid on this. Guided at 75 to 85,000 pounds. So where do we go with this? 75, start me at the bottom of the guide. 75, 75 straight in, thank you. At 75,000, uh, 76 anywhere, 76, 77, 77, 77, 77 I've got, 78. Not 78, 79 and 80. The bids flew straight in for this lot. We returned to the room at 83,000 pounds. 83, 83, 84. Been with me all the while. 84, 85, 86. 85 is against you on the front row at 85,000. At 85,000, against you, against you, with you at 85,000. Are you out on the phone? He's disappeared, so definitely he's out on the phone. So 85 once, 85 twice, third and final time at 85,000 pounds. Congratulations, well done. Your number, sir? You haven't got them, but we'll find you. I've got your number. I know you inside out. We've got local boy Ben's number now. I met him back at the property to have a chat about his £85,000 purchase. Ben, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So um, tell me then, what are you going to do? Carpets, decorations lights, safety requirements, and then get some rental income as soon as possible. How long is it going to take you? It will probably be all of two weeks to get it turned around. <laughs> two, how much? Um, I would like to be in for two and a half thousand. Cut, we're done. Hang on, hang on. I know I said a quick chat, but that's ridiculous. And indeed, there's a lot more to Ben than meets the eye. It turns out he's so assured because he owns and runs his own property investment company. Finding properties both for his own company portfolio and for private investors. Now, I set up on my own around 10 years ago when I was 18. Um, Hold it a minute. 18 years old? You yeah. You decided to go into property? Yeah, exactly. What, what made you do that? Um, it didn't work out at school for me, let's okay. put it that way. Yeah, I was, both I of us, both of us. I wasn't very <laughs> academic, okay. so um, I kind of fell into it. I got a work experience job in an estate agency doing admin. They asked me to do a viewing for them. Um, it turned out really well, and then they just got me going on sales. So After that, I um, went to work for a large corporate for a year and had enough of that after about nine months and set up on my own. That was 19. 19, <laughs> that's just it's incredible. A lot of 19-year-olds are, you know, me included, you know, a lot of them wasting their time, going on holiday with the lads, having a good time. And... Yeah, it was, um, it was late nights at the office and early mornings, but... I love it. And you didn't mind that? No, I love it. Absolutely love, love what I do, so it works well. And you've got to make mistakes, haven't you? Oh, tons. Absolutely tons, <laughs> have yeah. You, have you yeah, really? Ridiculous mistakes. At 23, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to go blind to an auction. <laughs> bought, bought a flat that was, uh, when I got there, flooded and beyond words, so very quickly learnt from the hard way to uh, go listen. and inspect things prior. You know, you know the hammer rules, don't you? Yeah. You know, know yes, I, you do. I know them now, <laughs> I know them now. <laughs> Yeah, you'd think he might be a little too young. 
and Ben is one of our younger people to feature on the show. But with 10 years of experience running his own successful company, I can see why investors are happy to put their faith in him. And this flat that he's bought for himself to rent needs very little doing to it. However, did he spot the short lease? I believe there's 63 years left. Uh -huh. um, got to wait two years to extend the lease. Um, starting to get ballpark indications on what that would be. Mm -hmm. um, but I factored that into the numbers. OK, and what kind of figures are we talking in order to extend that? Probably with legals around the 10,000 mark to extend. OK, is that what you were expecting or...? That's where I thought it would be, yeah, yeah. Eight, 8 to 10. Well, good luck. Thank you've, you very uh, much. You've gone in two feet, as they say in the game. You've really gone through it and you've been successful. Thank you. Hope it continues. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, pal. Cheers. At 18 years old, Ben decides to go it alone and start a business. He must be doing something, right? Because 11 years later, he's still going. Now, two and a half thousand pounds and a two week time scale. Normally, if I heard that on Homes Under the Hammer, I'd go, no chance can he do that. But I think he's got that spot on. He might have to spend a few more quid extending that lease though, but he's also factored that in. How will he get on? Sit tight, get yourself a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits and you'll find out. We are going back to Leeds, where I saw this. Actually, I couldn't see anything. Oh, well. And there was a two-bed ground floor flat behind these hedges. And not to jump to conclusions, but it didn't take much investigating to conclude that this was going to be a great buy at 75 to 80 grand. The lounge, Bedrooms and bathroom were all in good condition. And I'll sum up. Kitchen's all right and ready to rent. The only issue was the short lease of 63 years, but that didn't face seasoned property developer Ben, who picked it up for £85,000. Ben has been working in property business since he was 18, so has 10 years of experience and knowledge behind him. We conducted the shortest Homes Under the Hammer interview ever. Start the timer. Ben, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So um, tell me then, what are you going to do? Carpets, decorations, lights, safety requirements, and then get some rental income as soon as possible. How long is it going to take you? It will probably be all of two weeks to get it turned around. <laughs> two, how much? Um, I would like to be in for two and a half thousand. Cut, we're done. There really wasn't much more to it. So we're back to see how Ben has done. If I just consult my notes here, I can tell that it's taken... That's it, all of four days to complete the work. <laughs> wow. A short interview, short turnaround, and I think we're breaking all the records here on Homes Under the Hammer. So let's see what Ben has managed to do in 96 hours. This flat has found a new lease of life thanks to Ben. In that teeny turnaround, he's managed to make all the changes he wanted. So since you were here last time, we've done some decoration works, we've done new carpets, new light fittings, some new furniture, um, some new appliances, health and safety measures, um, and it's now ready to let. The property may be fully refurbished and ready to go, but it looks like Ben has made some pretty interesting colour choices. So we went for greys, whites, which is what we normally go for on refurbishments. We thought we'd try the sort of bright blue in the bathroom and kitchen, which is a little bright, but we'll roll with it. We'll see what the feedback is in uh, prospective viewings. Blue might be the colour on the walls, but Ben definitely didn't feel blue renovating this flat. As there were no issues or problems to be found, the only crux in the plan was the short lease. 
But once he receives the completed legal pack from his lawyer, he'll start the proceedings to extend it. Ben and his team have done a great job in turning this place around, and since it didn't take them long to do it, how does he feel about this project? Yeah, th I think the, the project's gone exactly as I, I thought it would do. Very basic project, um, and I'm quite sure the finished article will be well received by prospective tenants and we should achieve maximum rent. Well, before he pops the champagne to celebrate, there's one final matter to cover. He may well have done this under the timescale. He may have even decorated it the way he wanted to, but did he stick to the two and a half grand budget? I think I came in at around 2.7, so more or less where I want it to be. He may be £200 over budget, but I think that's a small price to pay for the job he's done here. So that 2,700 spend puts Ben's total investment in this property at £87,500. But what do two local estate agents make of the changes? Let's get their thoughts and opinions, starting with the agent who saw it before. I'm happy with the changes that the uh, new owner's done. I think it's brightened the place up and uh, brought it back to life a little bit, and I'm, uh, I think it's going to certainly add value. The flat is um, very well presented, very neutral design colours, beautiful interiors. The kitchen is a very, very nice specification. New modern shower room with, uh, with cubicle, um, but very, very presentable. Uh, the colour scheme is neutral. I think it's going to appeal to most people. There's obviously that striking blue in the bathroom and also in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think it's. I think it will appeal to certain people. It's sort of in fashion in some regards, but it will put some certain people off. But I think I don't think it's going to be an issue. Good to know the blue shouldn't go, and even though the colour scheme won't affect the potential value, the short lease will. So, how much could Ben hope to achieve if he sold the property on as it is, and if he extended the lease? With a long lease attractive to buyers, the market value of the property is £125,000. A shorter term lease, the market value will reduce to roughly about £115,000. With a long lease, if they extend the lease, I think the, you, could, you could ask up to £120,000 for the property, but in its current form of 63 years, I think that £110,000 will be the limit. Taking the property as it stands at the moment with that short lease, that would give Ben a potential profit of 27 and a half grand at the estate agent's top estimate, minus taxes and fees, of course. However, Ben has his mindset on rental. So what are the figures like? As for the rental value, I would say the upper limit is about £600 per calendar month. But I think a more realistic figure would be about £575 per calendar month. The apartment, very attractive, and a furnished basis could rent out at about £600 per calendar month. Yeah, they're exactly where I thought they'd be. Um, I'm going to hope for that sort of level, so that's good. The top rental figure would give Ben a potential yield of just over 8%. So, all in all, not bad going for this quick season developer. Of course, Ben has years of experience behind him. So we better ask, what advice would you give for anyone looking to start out in property development? You've just you've just got to find something you enjoy, and to me, property was just a passion. It was it was the first thing and the only thing I've ever really connected with and wanted to give my full attention towards. So, if you find something that works, makes you happy, you'll just succeed in it. Yeah.